Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at creating a cookie cutter for our 3D printer. I'm going to begin with new from the ribbon bar at the top. Click standard IPT and click create. I'm going to begin with a 2D sketch on my XY plane. I'm going to click front to zoom all. Our 3D printer work envelope has a 4 inch by 4 inch work area. So I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'm going to go by my origin, click when I get a green dot, and I'm going to stretch out a rectangle to the upper right hand corner. I'm going to type 4, press the tab key, type 4 on the keyboard, and press the enter key. Okay, press the escape. Next, we're going to place our image on here. Previously, before we were on a computer, we went to the and got an image. I'm going to select image right here from above our insert area, image. I'm going to go get my star and click open. I'm going to place this on here. Now you can see it came in fairly large. I'm going to press escape to let go of the next one. It came in fairly large, so I'm going to go up to the left hand corner here, grab the red dot, and I'm going to shrink this down. And then move it on to my work area. Still a little large, so I'm going to get that red dot again, shrink it down. That looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom all by clicking front in my world cube. Next, in order to trace, use this to trace it around, I'm going to get my line tool. And I'm going to start on the inside of my drawing. And I'm just going to keep coming around. clicking, making sure that I'm kind of following the shape of my star. When I get to the end here, when I get to the end here, I want to make sure I get my green dot and click to make sure that I have it closed. Press the escape key on the keyboard to let go of your line tool. And now we're going to click our image. And we're either going to right click and delete, or once you have your image selected, press delete on the keyboard. And there's our star. Next, we're going to take an offset, and we're going to come down and select our star image or our star line that we drew. We're going to go to the outside. We're going to offset this 1 slash 3 2, 1 32nd of an inch. So I typed into this box 1 slash 3 2. Press enter on the keyboard. Next, we're going to take and finish sketch, green check mark in the upper right hand corner. And I'm going to take and extrude. I want to extrude and I want to select this narrow part of our star. We want it to extrude towards us. However, our distance, we're going to change to 1 slash 4, which is 1 quarter of an inch. Or you could type in 0.25 and click OK. Go home. Now we have just created the part that's going to cut through the cookie dough. Next we need the handle that's going to pull it out of the dough once we have it placed in. So let's turn our world cube to the back so that our world cube says back. And we're going to take a 2D sketch, place it on the back side of our drawing. Click zoom all. Next we're going to take our line tool and we're going to trace around our star again get our line tool and I want to start by getting green dot coming over to the inside make sure I'm kind of clicking green dots all along the way that's going to be very helpful when we start trying to offset this Take your time, make sure you're lining up correctly. And when you close it off as well, make sure you get that green dot there too. Once you're finished, press escape. Now we're going to take and offset this one. We're going to offset 
this is going to be the handle, so we're going to go a little wider. We're going to offset 3 sixteenths of an inch, which is 0.188, you can type in, or you can type in the fraction 3 slash 1 6, and then press enter on the keyboard. Let's go zoom all by clicking back in our world cube. Next, we're going to go home. We're going to take and finish sketch. We are going to extrude. We're going to select our star, the outside part we just got done drawing. And we want to extrude a quarter of an inch going direction number two. Make sure that arrow is pointing backwards. And then click OK. There we have our cookie cutter ready to go. We're going to take and go to orange capital letter I. We're going to save as. We're going to make sure we're going to our H drive. First initial, last name, 000. And you're going to type in your last name and cookie cutter. After you have your last name and cookie cutter typed in, you're going to select save. Next, we need this in a file format that the 3D printer is going to read. So we're going to go to the orange capital letter I, go to Export, CAD Format. Still make sure we're going into our H drive, first initial, last name, 000. And down here where it says Save As Type, we're going to change it to an STL file. And click Save. Congratulations, you are done. You're ready to move over to the computer that has the 3D printer attached to it. You're going to save it to the thumb drive. And then get ready by following the directions for printing your cookie cutter. Congratulations. Nice job.